In this video, we'll discuss how to use formulas. Often when we're measuring or counting a quantity, we use a formula to help us find certain values for the quantity. For example, from physics, a very important equation is distance equals rate times time, or d equals rt. The distance you travel is equal to the rate times the time, if you're going in a constant speed. So for this formula, if you have two of the, uh, if you have uh, numbers for two of the variables, you can find the third variable. So for example, let's say a car drives for three hours at a speed of 75 miles per hour. So in for the rate, we'll put in 75 miles per hour. And then for the time, we'll put in three hours. Three times 75 is 225 and this is measured in miles. If we're looking at a trapezoidal object, there's a formula for the, finding the area of that object. It's given by A equals H times A plus B over 2. So if we measure the two uh, base, bases, B and A, A is 10 centimeters, B is 15 centimeters, and we measure the height is 8 centimeters, then we can take and put those in for the variables in the formula and then solve for the area. So the height is 8, A is 10, B is 15, divided by 2. So that gives us 8 times 25 over 2. The, four and, uh, the 8 and the 2 cancel, giving us 4 times 25, which is 100 centimeters squared. When doing statistics, we often have an expression, an equation that looks like the one we see here, y hat equals, and then it's an expression, a linear expression with x. So if we measure x to be 24, we can substitute that into the equation to find y hat. So in place of x, we write 24, and then solving for y hat, we do PEMDAS on the right, that leaves us with 1.128 plus 18.359. If we want to round to the hundredths place, we circle the 8 and we look at the number to the right. The number to the right is a 7. 7 is 5 or more. So we're going to increase that 8 to a 9, 19.49 for y hat. Sometimes we'll have a formula, but it's solved for a, a variable that, uh, it's not solved for the variable that we, we are interested in. For example, we know that area equals length times width when we're working with a rectangle. But let's say we know the area uh, and we know the length, but we don't know the width. So what we can do is we can take our formula and solve it for a different variable. So if we want to solve this for w, that means we want to get w by itself on one side. So this is l times w. If we do the opposite of multiplying by l, that's dividing by l, we see here that the width of a rectangle is equal to the area of the rectangle divided by the length. This next equation is a very important equation in algebra. Let's say we want to solve it for m. Okay, maybe instead of y, we're, we, 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 we know what y is, perhaps, and we're trying to find m. So we can take this and solve it for m. So there are multiple variables here, but, but what we want to do is, is treat it like you know, it's a typical linear equation and we're trying to isolate for 
our uh, 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 letter of interest here, which is M. So I want to get rid of the B and the X. So we go in the same order. We're going to subtract off the B from both sides. So we have Y minus B equals MX. And we have M times X. So the opposite of multiplying by X is dividing by X. So we're going to divide both sides by X. And we've solved for M. M equals Y minus B over X. Two more formulas where we solve for a particular letter in the formula. So if we want to solve for B, we need to get B out of the denominator. We're going to multiply both sides by the least common denominator. So we go A times 2 minus B. A over 2 minus B times 2 minus B. So we multiply both sides by the LCD. That's going to cancel the 2 minus B on the right. Did not mean to cancel it on the left. So we have A 2 minus B equaling capital A. B is still inside the parentheses here, so we're going to break that up by distributing. So we have 2A minus AB equals A. So then we'll move the 2A over. Let's finish that up over here. So we have negative AB equals A minus 2A. And then we divide both sides by negative A. So B equals A minus 2A over negative A. Note that there are other ways of solving this equation for B. And if we multiply top and bottom by a negative and simply rearrange, we'll see that this is also a correct solution here for solving for B. So both of those answers are correct. Finally, this is another equation that's very important in statistics, the z-score formula. Let's say we want to solve it for x. So we need to multiply both sides by sigma. So we multiply the left by sigma. That's the symbol in the denominator there. It's a Greek letter. It comes from the Greek alphabet. And we're going to multiply by sigma on the right. That'll cancel sigma out of the denominator. So we'll have sigma z equals x minus mu. It's another letter from the Greek alphabet. And then we want to move the mu over to the right by adding mu to both sides. So we have mu plus sigma z equals x. And we've solved for x now.